Since before the first Homo sapiens walked the earth 200,000 years ago, we have been shaped by our own inventions. We evolved from tribes of foragers and scavengers to hunters and gatherers, agriculturalists, industrialists and eventually modern-day digital technologists. All these advancements have had profound effect on our species, but we haven't stopped there. The human genome essentially shared our inheritance. Bacteria have their genomes, rats have their genomes, plants have their genomes, and we humans have our own genomes. IGIB's mission is to translate concepts developed in basic biological research to commercially viable technologies for healthcare. The institute was founded in 1977 as the Center for Biochemical Technology with a primary focus on biochemical research, but has since shifted its research focus to genomics and integrative biology. In the last decade, IGIB has come out with the first Indian genome. Not only that, we also helped our neighboring countries like Sri Lanka, Malaysia, to come out their drug genome also. In IGIB, we try to integrate the knowledge from chemistry, biology, computer science, as well as from medical science, and try to solve the problem of human health. CSIR, Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology, is a scientific research institute devoted primarily to biological research. It is a part of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR India. At CSIR IJIB, our endeavors have been to understand the complex problems associated with biological systems in an effort to provide easy and affordable and sustainable solutions to complex problems of the public health and society. At IJIB, we have computational structural biology as a major theme. What we are trying to achieve is interesting in a way that we have atomistic models such as how vesicle, protein and membrane systems evolve and how it is connected to the function of the protein. Most importantly, it has now diverged into multiple areas where you not only know how to read the genome but also effectively write the genome with the different labs working on. So computation biology is one of the major trust areas at IGIB. We work side by side with our experimental and clinical collaborators to derive meaningful insights. So we work on one of the oldest diseases that is known to mankind and that's tuberculosis. But still, the wondrous part of what we do is finding new things about this very old disease every day through our experiments. Earthworms are not conventionally considered model organisms, but they're very fascinating to us because we can chop them and then they regenerate all their body parts. We try to understand regeneration by studying earthworms using the lens of genomics. So we have sequenced the genome of the earthworm and understood which genes are expressed while the earthworm is reforming the parts that it has lost. A laboratory animal facility is a proxy for animal and human disease and they are the step in finding out the new drug and new procedure and new vaccine for human and animal. So in order to study the behavior of the mice, we perform a set of experiments like Y maze, T maze, elevated plus maze, water maze, rota rod, grip strength, etc. It's very interesting to see how we can use different animal model systems to study different human diseases. We in our lab use zebrafish as a model system for studying vitiligo. You might get surprised, there is a 70% similarity in the genes of humans and zebrafishes. They are great for studying gene editing. Uh, for gene manipulation and also uh, their transfer in body makes them a wonderful model for studying the phenotypes. We have in-house Tejas Compute Cluster at IGIB for big data computation workloads. It has peak computing capacity of 100 teraflops 
consisting of around 3000 computational cores and two powerful gpus for demanding machine learning algorithms our lab is uh, focusing on developing innovative techniques to understand these cells so that we can help people who need these cells for transplantation purposes we work in the domain of cognitive sciences where we are working through use of multimodal sensor biomedical data and work on detection of fatigue and stress we also work in lung and liver physiology and utilize different equipment to assess the pulmonary function and liver function using all the multimodal bio data we put into the ai and ml pipelines and derive insights from it for precision medicine so at ayur genomics uh, we are integrating the clinical methods of ayurveda for holistic understanding of health in this we have for the first time established the modern genomic and molecular basis to the fundamental principle of prakriti and tridosha of ayurveda we operate in a pan india manner and provide research and diagnostics to a network of 300 plus clinicians from whom we receive referrals this program is open to any hospital or clinician seeking for assistance in genetic diagnostics and research csr igib is catering to one of the most important national initiative the skill india program uh, it is an annual program where we are focused on training students on genomic medicine and high throughput sequencing technologies where we are giving them hands on skills on these cutting edge technologies corona virus disease 2019 wreaked havoc on the world costing millions of lives severely affecting public health systems and inflicting social and economic crisis During the COVID-19 pandemic we have surveillance over 5000 community samples as well as 2000 international travelers traveling to India as part of genomic surveillance of SARS-CoV-2 variants as well as we are at the forefront of monitoring dengue outbreak in Delhi This is the state of the art genomics facility well equipped with sequencing platforms like Illumina NextSeq Oxford Nanopore sequencing platform as well as the Illumina iScan and BD Rhapsody signal cell system for understanding the host pathogen interaction during the infection Our lab works on cancer immunotherapy uh, last uh, several decades uh, for cancer different therapies has been tried small molecules radiation therapy and other things but uh, nothing is promising so recently in last couple of years there is a new form of immunotherapy has been developed it's called as chimeric antigen receptor t cells it's car t cell therapy uh, where you can take patients own uh, immune cells uh, and then modify Uh, at the laboratory conditions and then put it back into the patient so it gives very promising uh, treatment option for these patients i wish igib would be the top leading institute in our country in the area of genomics which will lead us to develop personalized medicine cell therapies molecular medicine by adopting knowledge of say cart cell crispr cas technology as well as monoclonal antibodies technologies it's the failed experiments that teach us the most in science igib is like our family we spend more than half of our productive hours over here but we never think too much about it because the joy the excitement that we get here is more than anything else. the one thing that i'm very very sure about igib is that it's a great place for young scientists to start their career with path breaking research and understand the complexities of biological research igib is the place to be look forward to the students their families from all walks of life coming into igib and being enthused to think about science and how it can impact the society
CSIR IGIB, we learn together, we grow together and we bring genomics closer to the society.